Welcome to Race Face TV and this version of Race Life Spotlight. We do this show for the WKA and today we're going to be going up to Chester, Maryland where we find nine-year-old Ben Mayer. Ben, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. You're doing great. Well, I'm going to tell you what, it looks pretty good. You got a lot of hardware behind you there. That's a lot of trophies. Is that all of them or do you just bring in some select ones? I just brought in some. I have a bunch more. I figured that. I was looking at your resume. I figured you had a bunch of hardware, a bunch of trophies. So, my first question is, at what made you decide that you wanted to be a race car driver? So, one time my dad brought me to Chester, no, not Chester, Nicholson Speedway, and I said that I want to do that. And then he said, okay, I'll get you a go-kart. And we started practicing there. And I got really good. So first time at the racetrack kind of hooked you. You saw it and you wanted to be a part of that. So at what age did you actually start racing? Started at three years old. Oh my gosh. You win the award. That's the youngest I've ever heard. Three years old. That's amazing. Were you in a go-kart at three years old? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's pretty cool. So one of the things that uh, I also want to know is tell me something about you that maybe a lot of people don't know. So something maybe outside of racing. I can drive a 40 foot boat and I sprained my knee today. You sprained your knee today and you can drive a 40 foot boat. So let's go, let's talk about the boat a little bit. Now, what type of boat is it? It is, I don't know. It's, it's just a, it's like a speed boat or a fishing boat, something kind of like that? Speed boat. A speed boat, all right. Well, that's cool. You wouldn't drive in it when you were three, I hope. Okay, so you got a lot of practice on the racetrack and then they let you drive the speed boat. So now we're going to do a little segment that's called Get to Know Ben in 60 Seconds. Are you ready to play? All right, what's your favorite food? Ice cream. Ice cream. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. Favorite TV show? I don't really watch that much TV. You don't watch that much TV, that's a good thing. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Do you have a favorite superhero? Yes. Who is it? It is, it is P. It's who? Super P. Oh, okay. All right. Who is your favorite race car driver? It is Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson. All right. So we got an open wheel guy who likes a NASCAR driver. I like that. Do you have a, do you have a pet? Yes. It's a leopard gecko. A leopard gecko. So like a, like a lizard type of thing? Yeah. Okay, it's not the one that does the Geico commercials, is it? No. Okay, all right. So now let's talk a little bit about your kart racing career. And so let's, uh, let's just highlight some of your wins. Um, and what was it like to actually win your first race? I don't really remember my first, first race. I was only four years old. But you must have been pretty excited winning a race for the first time. And, and it, 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 I don't think it changes. If you won one at four years old or you win one when you're 20 years old, there's nothing like being in Victory Circle. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah. Because if you're not in Victory Circle, you're always looking at Victory Circle and going, oh my gosh, I wish I was there. So that's what I hear from most race car drivers. So. What was your most memorable race that you've ever won? It was when I won my first national weight race in Wisconsin, and I won by 18 seconds there. And that year I was actually the national champion. All right, an 18-second win, that's a, that's a pretty major gap. 
And how old were you when you did that? I was six years old. You were six years old. So let's talk about your Pro Tour Winter Nationals at, at is it NOLA Motorsports Park? And that was down in Louisiana, I believe. Yeah. So um, the first day, I forgot my neck brace, and I started eight seconds back. Then I passed a lot of people and got fourth. And then on the second day, I passed the first place car on the last corner for the win in both races, the pre-final and the final. All right, so the one thing that we learned from that is never to forget your neck brace. Is that correct? All right. That's just for safety purposes. That's to make sure that Ben comes home safe and that keeps mom and dad happy. So 2018, you've, you st have a great start going on in the, in the WKA Manufacturers Cup. Um, you scored two wins at Daytona and you back that up with two wins at GoPro Motorplex, uh, winning one of the closest races in series history. So tell me a little bit about that race. I have had lots of fun and success from WKA Men Cup this year, and my goal is to win the championship. And you're running again, share with the viewer, Otto, you're running in the micro sprints, is that correct? Micro Swift. Micro Swift, okay. So um, tell us about that close race. Who did, you, who did you beat and how close was that? At NOLA, I beat Caleb by 33 of a second, and Max Garcia by 18, I mean 8 one hundredths of a second. So 33 one hundredths of a second and 18 one hundredths of a second, all three of you finished in that. You can, do you know that you could barely blink your eye that fast? That's a pretty close yeah. race. So did they have to go to the transponders or they have to go to like the photo finish? How did that, how did they actually decide who won when it was actually that close? Probably the transponders. The transponders. Okay, so you watched that race a week ago where they finished so close that the transponders in a NASCAR race that they couldn't even pick it up and they had to actually go to the camera to figure out who actually won that race. So that's exciting to be racing for, you know, how many laps was that race? Was it a 20, 30 lap race? 23. 23 laps. So that's amazing when you think about it that all of you finished that close after 23 laps of racing. So that's got to be, that's got to be pretty cool to be a part of. You made some history. So one of the other questions I've had for you, I, I ask every driver this, what sacrifices have you made to pursue your racing career? I miss lots of soccer and baseball, and then I miss birthday parties, like the awesome throwdown Brent had at the trampoline park. Okay, so the big question is, is it all worth it to be a racer? Yeah. And so what, are you, what do all of your friends think about you being a race car driver? Are they, do they think that's pretty cool, or some of them jealous, or what, what, what's, the, what's the thinking of, of all your friends? I mean, they think it's cool to have me there and playing with them. So if I'm one of your friends at school and I come over to you and I'm like, hey, Ben, let me take your car for a spin around the block. Are you going to let me drive your race car? Yeah. You would? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. All right. So who are your biggest supporters? Who supports you the most? I think I probably already know the answer to this, but I want to get it from you. Nick Tucker, my little brother, Big Al, and my mom and dad. Your mom and dad and Nick. Nick's a great guy, man. Nick's, Nick, Nick does an amazing job in the karting world. So let's talk about what are some of your 2018 races that you've got coming up, and do you have any big plans for the rest of the year? Yeah, I want to win all the championships, and those are WKS, and USBKS, and then I want to win the Rock World Cup in Italy, 
and win the uh, Grand Nationals. All right. So have you ever been over to Italy to race before? Or would this be your first time over there? It would be my first time. That's uh, That would be pretty cool. I bet your mom and dad would be like, yeah, we want to go win that race and do a little sightseeing when we're over there. So if you had a crystal ball in front of you, you're nine years old now, where do you see yourself when you're 15 or 16? What type of racing do you want to be doing at that age? I hope, like, spring cars, but I'm just going to take it race by race to see where this train's going to take me. See where the train's going to take you. That's a good thing. So long term, where does Ben want to be racing at? Do you want to be an open wheel driver? Do you want to be a stock car driver? Do you want to be a Formula One driver? Where do you see yourself long term? NASCAR or Formula One. NASCAR or Formula One. Well, that's a pretty big difference between those two. But, but you know what? You got to have goals. So let me ask you another question. What do you like to do when you're not racing? I like to play Fortnite race like with my friends. Just hang just kinda of hanging around with your friends like most kids. So let me ask you something. Do you do any online racing? Do you do any simulator racing yet? Or is that kinda of in the future a little bit? I mean I do games on the iPad, but not that much simulator. Yeah, so um so is there anything else that you want to share with the viewing audience to get to let them know a little bit more about Ben? And also, do you want to talk about any of your sponsors? Yeah, I'd like to thank Nitro Kart, Nick Tucker, Bealy Marine, and RV, Bolted Spine Designs, Allison Racing Engines, and Donnie Myers Luxury Coach. And then I'd like to thank you for this interview and to talk with you. It's very exciting. All right. Well, I want to thank you for being on the show because um, when I called the WKA, you were one of the first names that they gave me. So congratulations to that. So again, everybody, there you have it. Ben Mayer, nine years old, Chester, Maryland, one of the top up and coming young racers in the WKA. Ben, thank you so much for being with us and I'll tell you what, if you win a couple of those championships, are you going to let me come back and interview you later in the year? All right. Well, thank you so much. Well, there you have it. That's it for this week's WKA Race Life Spotlight. And be sure to check us out at Race Face TV. Check out Ben's. Ben, do you have a Facebook page or a website that you want to tell people about? Yeah, I have a website called watchbenrace.com if you want to go look at that. All right, so we're going to put that up on the screen, watchbenrace.com. There you have it. Again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back here next week on Race Life Spotlight and the WKA. Everybody have a great evening.